Hello guys, Antoine here for Simarch Architecture and welcome back to a new video. So today's video is going to be a bit special because I'm not alone for this build. I am with the amazing builder, Louise Gravy, who's quite new actually to um, YouTube, but she's one of my favorite builders now. Um, she uses Felix Sanders custom content like no one else and yeah, she builds amazing houses, palaces, mansions. And actually, I sent her a message a few weeks ago now, asking her if she was willing to do a collaboration with me because I felt like we had the same aesthetic when it comes to build big mansion or palaces. And of course, um, we both use Felix Henders custom content quite in the same way, I think. We have a matching style, I would say. And yeah, I was really excited uh, when she said yes, and I suggested her to build something which I really love, which sadly I didn't visit myself, but I plan to. Um, we are building the Palace of Sanssouci located in Potsdam in Germany. This is one of the most famous German palaces. Um, as I said, it's located in Potsdam in the Park Sanssouci, which is one of the largest royal estates in the whole world. Um, there are actually many palaces in this estate. There is Sanssouci, of course, but also the new palace, the new chambers, the Orangerie Schloss, the... Well, um, there is the Peacock Island Palace. There are many, many, many palaces uh, in this estate and it was actually the summer estate of the Prussian kings so if you don't know about Prussia Prussia was a part of Germ of nowadays Germany uh, in the eastern part of Germany which was and also a part of Poland but right now um, it is the eastern part of Germany around Berlin more or less and Sanssouci was built by Frederick the Great um, during the Rococo time. So this palace is often considered as one of the rivals of Versailles, but it's much smaller and in a total different style. It is in the Rococo style, which is not the case for Versailles. Versailles is more Baroque or classic. And this small palace is, yes, more Rococo, much smaller, more intimate. Um, it was probably a palace which was more easy to live in, not like Versailles, which, which was really huge and dedicated to representation. This one was more intimate. And yes, this is one of the most beautiful examples of German Rococo, which I think is my favorite kind of Rococo because, you know, there are many influences for its architectural style. Um, the French Rococo and the German Rococo are different, but I think I enjoy German Rococo more. Um, of course, I love French Rococo, but the German one is even more full of detail, full of gold, full of everything, and I just love it. It's beautiful. There are many residences in Germany who are, um, which are, sorry, featuring some Rococo rooms and they're absolutely amazing. So as I told you, I've never visited this pass myself, but I plan to actually. Um, I don't know when I will go there, but it's definitely on my list. Um, because, you know, when I'm visiting a country, I'm not thinking of um, city in particular or anything. I'm just thinking of what palace can I visit because I'm absolutely passionate about palaces, castles, architecture. And actually I visited many cities in Germany. I actually visited almost all Germany except Eastern Germany. So I never been to Ger to Berlin or to Potsdam, which is actually located next to Berlin. It's like around 30 kilometers away from Berlin. It was the summer state of the kings who were settled in Berlin. So, yes, I plan to go there, I hope this year, but probably next year. Um, I think in spring, because spring is, according to me, the best moment to visit a palace, because the weather is nice, the garden are blooming, the flowers are blooming as well, and 
yes, it's just a nice time to visit a palace. So I plan to spend a week in Berlin. Um, and probably two or three days in the estate of Sanssouci because there's so many things to see and as a um, passionate photographer I would like to spend a lot of time there to take a lot of pictures um, really spend time there to feel the place just you know I don't like rushing somewhere like I don't have any time to see anything I just want to enjoy myself go there enjoy its detail enjoy each palace for itself so it will definitely take a long time so I think around two or three days um, now I can talk you tell you more about uh, the bill itself as I told you it's in collaboration with Louise Gravy you will have the link down below to her channel and to her video because I'm only building the exterior part of the palace uh, with this amazing terrace garden, which I think was the most um, exciting thing in this build Which wasn't possible before but since we have the new um, Foundation tool and the new Terran tools. It is way more uh, Doable if I can say and Wow, I am so it's simple actually. It's not difficult to do but the result looks great I think just tell me in the comment if it looks great or not, but I'm myself very happy about the way it turned out. It was not something complicated to build. Um, there are not many, many elements. Those are just terrace gardens with um, a few tapieries and a few bushes on the walls. And that's it actually, and there's the small palace on top of it. Um, for the palace, only built the central part of it because there there are two more wings um, but it was not possible on a lot in the sims to build it even if it's the 64 by 64 lot the largest one but the terrace garden take a lot of space and first I was thinking only building the palace without the terrace garden but then I was like no it doesn't make sense this palace is well known also and probably mainly for its terrace garden so I decided to focus more on those terrace gardens than on the build itself, on the palace itself. So yes, I only built the central part. Of course, it's not 100% accurate because I don't have all the items I would need to do the exact replica of the actual palace. But I think it's pretty recognizable and in one side you can say, yes, it's sans souci. So this... It's the only thing I wanted is to have something that, that looks like the real one without especially being the exact copy of it. So yes, it just, you know, I've been thinking about building this for a long time now and before we have the terrain tool like no, it's impossible because you have to build like two or three floors just to do the terrace garden and then you don't have enough floors to build the palace and if you only build one or two terrace gardens it's not interesting because you don't have the whole dramatic effect of all those successive gardens so yes and now with the new tools it's so easy and it gave me more ideas for upcoming palaces um, because I think I don't play that much with the Terran tools and now it just made me more confident about them and I feel like using them. So actually my part is quite simple, it's, it's not a big part. I think there will be more to see in Louis' video which is going to be about the interior. Um, when I'm recording this I don't know what she did, I, I didn't see any picture of the inside she just told me that she got inspired by pictures she saw from the palace uh, but of course she told me she was not able to do an exact replica so it's a mix of her vision and of the real palace so I'm really excited to see what she did um, and I'm sure it will be something great and I think it's a bit challenging because um, I didn't do it but I thought about how 
the floor plan could look and with all these windows it's not easy to create yeah proper rooms that are good looking so it's really challenging and I hope uh, it was not too difficult for Louise so yeah I'm really excited to do to see what she did and yeah so be sure to show uh, to oh my god sorry I'm losing my words today be sure to visit our channel to watch her video because the whole thing will be in her video I think the most interesting part um, and actually we will discover it at the same time so yes I'm really excited um, I think I told you pretty much everything about this build actually there is a big story about it because it's a royal palace and a lot of things have been going on there but I'm first I don't know the whole story of the palace and I'm not going to tell you right now because I think it would be boring for you maybe uh, because probably you're not a big fan of palaces just like I am so I would like to talk more about the sims I know that some yeah, game ginger are going to Hollywood and there will be a lot of announces um, it seems like this year will be the best year for The Sims 4. Uh, I'm really excited to see what's going on. Um, I think there will be a new expansion pack, probably Island Paradise or University. We don't know. There will be also a game pack, I think, and a... Um, how is it called? Game pack and stuff pack. Yes. Um, so we'll see. The Game Changer will keep us updated. So... Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Now it's time for me to leave you. I really hope you enjoyed this build. Don't forget to watch Louis' video. I insist, it's very important. Um, I would like to thank her again for this beautiful collaboration. Um, and I will thank you for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.